Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the most ridiculous and most delicious Bloody Mary. Delicious because, well, I make one damn fine bloody. And ridiculous because of all the shit we're putting in it. Should we show them, Max? Yeah. Ready? And here I am. Wow. Starting on my right, your left, Max, we have celery because all bloodies have celery. Asparagus, because I love asparagus. This one will also have large shrimp and a lobster tail. Continuing on, we have meatballs that will be just meatballs, but also will become a small little grilled meatball burger sandwich kind of thing. You'll see as we get there. Tamales, because anybody can use olives, but tamales make a difference. They're baby pickled tomatoes. We're going to do something with this little chain of baby frankfurters. Then we've got chicken wings right here that will become amazing. Jalapenos, because a little spicy bite's always a good thing. And then on the end, last but definitely not least, huge ass thick pieces of your basic everyday pork belly. But first, the mix itself, because this is critical. You can put thousand dollar lobster tails in your Bloody Mary, but if the Bloody Mary itself sucks, what have you got? Well, I guess you've got thousand dollar lobster tails. I don't even know what that would be, to be honest. Lobster tails fed only with Wagyu beef. You're not kidding. Okay, we make it in a pitcher. We're gonna pour it in the thing. We're gonna serve it in. What makes my Bloody Mary different is that I don't make it with tomato juice. I make it with clamato juice or clamato juice, as I think I would say. You go anywhere in Canada in a restaurant or a bar and you ask for a Caesar, you're getting a Bloody Mary made with clamato juice, not the salad. You'd have to say Caesar salad to get a Caesar salad. Just a plain Caesar will get you this version of a Bloody Mary and it's so good. So here's how we start. Max just said, what'd you say? Because who doesn't want clams in their Bloody Mary? And it doesn't taste like clams. It's not like having a clam Mary. <laughs> it's just having a Bloody Mary with more goddamn flavor. And listen, you're half Canadian, so just suck it up, Junior, and be okay with it. Or I'll fucking send you back. So, a shake, always. And then this goes in. Let's go. How's that look? Does it look good? A little more. I don't know why I asked Max know, if it looks good. Anything. We don't know. You don't. You don't know. Okay. Uh, now vodka, of course. And I want almost as much vodka as I have clamato juice. You don't want it too strong. A mixed drink like this, you definitely want to taste the alcohol, but you don't want to be punched in the face by it. And I can hear people out there going, "Yes, punch us, punch us," and I'm not going to. It's quite a lot, actually. <laughs> Next up, Worcestershire. Uh, the recipe is on my website. You can go check it there, cookingguy.com. One of the important ingredients is prepared horseradish. And prepared horseradish, Max, like this, is not horseradish cream. It's just horseradish that's been all ground up that you can use in anything. So in this much, I'm going to put in a couple good tablespoons because I want to taste it. I may have to adjust. This is a big-ass Bloody Mary. For a little spice, I like Cholula, salt and pepper for sure. Celery salt, very typical in a Bloody Mary in Canada. Sorry, celery salt, very typical of a Caesar in Canada. That's a delicious flavor. And last but not least is lime, and this is super important. I know some people are fans of lemon. I'm the lime. I'm a fan of lime in here, so we'll give it a whole lime. And of course, we're going to taste all this. Make sure it's good. What happens now, Max? Max? <laughs> we mix. Now we mix. In. Look how light it got from the horseradish. So you want to be able to taste all these flavors. So you pour it into your Sam the Cooking Guy shot glass and inspect. 
We're not selling these. We're not doing anything with them. We just bought some for, we gave away some at one point, right? Yeah. And we don't even know if we have any left. This is one that I found. Now we taste. It smells so good. Like an afternoon by the sea. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Oh my God. Damn it. That is honestly so delicious. Wait, just to make sure. Oops. Just checking. I get a little bit of horseradish. I get a tiny bit of Cholula. I definitely get the lime and celery salt. That's perfect. This goes in the fridge. And now we address the things that are gonna go into it because they're all going on the grill. So we'll start with the pork belly. Next up, we'll throw some little chicken wings on. What's great about this is that you're not gonna be serving any of these hot in your Caesar. So when you cook them, almost doesn't really matter. Do this the morning of if you want, and you're gonna be fine. And by the way, the chicken only has a little oil on it right now. We have a sauce coming, but not yet. A couple jalapenos I'll throw in back here. Everything's looking beautiful right now. Let's get our shrimp on Maxi. And you can see they still have their shells and their legs on. I've skewered them this way because I want them to stay straight when they're sticking out of this cocktail at the end. The skewers will help with that, but we'll also take the shells off maybe. Max and I are arguing about that, so I think they're gonna look cool like this. We'll find out. Next, Max, our little sausage links. Put these guys here. And no, we don't need that many, but I might wanna eat one or two. So we've got a couple meatballs we can throw on, just with a little oil. We're also gonna make a burger out of meatballs, a slider. So I'm just taking two meatballs like this. I'm gonna patty them out and then we'll cook them and they'll go in our perfect little buns you'll see. Shit, that's hot. Hello. Two more things. First will be the asparagus. Gets a little drizzle of oil. Come live back here. I don't want my pork belly burning. Pull it away. Oh. Let's see how it looks. Nope. Pork belly takes a while. Just take your time with it. And last but not least is our lobster tail. I'll show you what I've done here, Max. We've actually done this before. I took a pair of scissors, went right underneath the shell, cut all the way up, then took my knife and cut down to the breastplate and opened them up. And here's what we're gonna season this guy with. I've got some melty butter here that I'm gonna add some sriracha to. Sriracha, mix that. Hey now, and brush this right here on the tail itself. Gets a little salt and pepper, and on she goes. And now it's just maintaining, Max. Turning, cooking, basting if we have to do that. Let's check out our little wings. I like to turn wings a lot, so we will. Jalapeno's getting some gorgeous color now. Turn those guys. Shrimp we can turn. Now that I've turned the shrimp, I'm gonna give them a little seasoning. So this is just some seafood seasoning that I like to keep. You think that it's protected from the shell, but it's gonna let in a very nice amount and you'll be very happy with it. Let's check our pork belly again. Come on, fellas, calm down. Let me show you what I wanna put on the pork belly. First is a little brown sugar. Because apparently fat isn't fat enough. And then some seasoning. It's like this thing we used the other day, chiltepin. It's a nice spice. It's gonna be really beautiful with the brown sugar and the fattiness of the pork. So the meatballs we're gonna to have to turn. A little burger patties. Sweet. 
And the asparagus are softening beautifully here. You can start to turn these guys. It's nothing like grilled asparagus. So really we're just maintaining here. Let's check our lobster tail. That's getting some nice color. I like that. Let's just turn them on this side now and we'll baste them again. He'll do some perfect cooking right there. The wings are going to need a little sauce. And here's what I have. Uh, this is a soy sauce with a gochujang. It's a Korean pepper paste that I'm a huge fan of. I'm going to just use my brush from the lobster to start painting these guys a little bit. Remember, we, we've said this. You don't want to paint something sweet on a grilled item too soon. Let it start to get color first. And not that this is really sweet, but you know, it's thick and will start to catch in. We'll give our shrimp another turn. Just back and forth, back and forth for everybody. And now it can have a little bit more of the seasoning because this side didn't get it. And as things become ready, they start coming off like the asparagus. Grilled, beautifully green and gorgeous. The jalapenos, looking fantastic. We'll take them. Turn the chicken now. Check the pork belly. It can flip. Let's not forget this backside of the chicken. I hear gardeners. Shrimp can come off, you guys. Let's go. That. Wow, look at that pork belly. Oh, the wings, Max. It's starting to look lovely. You get out of there. In fact, I'm taking you off. Throw those in the flame for a second. Oh, did you hear that? He exploded. Wow. And they're gorgeous and they're coming off. The whistling sausages. The whistling sausages. Damn, that sausage can whistle. That's what she said. jeez. Oh, Our little burgers are done. Sausage slider insides. Meatballs could get a little flame up over here. Flame on, fellas. Lobster will give one more little splash too. That was for Max's benefit. I think in another life he could be a pyromaniac. That's pretty. One more paint of the chicken. They're almost coming off. Hello meatballs, let's go. Lobster tail, you're done. As soon as the chicken's done, we're building. And we're there. Mac, let's make a Bloody Mary. All right, it's go time. So stupid. What is that from? It's go time. One of you young boys should know that. It's go time. It's go time. It's go time. Doesn't matter. It is go time. It's actually build time. But before I begin, the remember the little the little so. Remember the little sausage that we're making a slider out of. Well, I forgot I wanted to put cheese on it. So I've got a perfect little round of cheese. Here's the deal. They're gonna go on these little biscuits. These are just regular everyday refrigerator biscuits that I cut a hole out of with this, with this trimmer pills glass. Cut the hole out. They were like this, right? In there, cut the hole, bake this. I threw those on because why not? And now I will take this guy, cut him in half. Carefully, Sam. And now place my little 
patty with melted cheese on top and top it with this kid. This is going in. Maybe two of these are going in. But now, back to the bloody Caesar. And here's my glass. Okay, it's a very big glass because this is a very big drink. It's actually a, it's a flower vase, but it's perfect and beautiful. And here's the Bloody Mary Caesar mix. So it settles. You gotta go with a big stir before. And then, then we go. That's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. All right, now we can begin. The process goes like this. You just start putting in what you've got. I like the idea of the asparagus. Do you see the mistake I've already made, Max? What? Too much liquid, I think. Now what do I do? I got an idea. Stand by. Whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna mess up the rim. Stand by. I got what I need to get liquid out without making a mess. A straw. So good. Don't think I messed up the rim, did I? You got your asparagus right here. Let's go one more. This is a nice tall guy. Now, let's do a couple shrimp in like this. The pork belly is going to be a bit of a challenge, so here's what I'm thinking. I think this guy's going to be going back here, maybe. Oh, what, look what we can do. Max, why'd you do this to me? Leave the pork belly for a minute. Why isn't that on a long skewer also? Well, because I was thinking I would like to do something different with it. Now I won't. How about pork belly like this? Chicken. Jalapenos? Meatballs? How many of the sausages do you want, ass? Tom olives. And the brininess of these tom olives is a glorious freaking thing. Now let's think about this lobster tail. So burger, Max. Let's try it here. So two things left if i can do it a piece of celery without f***ing everything up max is going to be mad if i do i don't know if i can do this there we go and a lime yes i don't even know where the lime went it's there and there you have it well after a lot of fussing put this in front move the lobster over a little bit should we make another skewer of shrimp? The chicken needs to go lower. Bring the, the little uh, biscuit sausage thing on top of the deal. Do the thing, move the... Here it is. And it's freaking gorgeous. So now we just need a drink, a sip, and a bite. First, a sip. Oops. Oh shit. Dang, that is something, man. So is this. Ooh, little sausage slider with cheese. Mmm. You know what it needs? It needs a bite of a jalapeno. And a tamale. and a little baby sausage. And a bite of some meatball. Mmm. Asparagus. Shrimp. Perfectly cooked. 
the show helped out. Chicken wing. The soy gochujang. Unbelievable. Pork belly bite. Sweet from the brown sugar, but spicy from the chiltepin pepper. And some lobster. I mean, who doesn't like a bite of lobster? And after it's cooked, sorry, it's a little barbaric, but you just take some. Mm, it's sweet and garlicky with a touch of sriracha. And by the way, this is not meant to be a one person event. This is meant to be a multi person event. The food, the alcohol, the 